Hi everyone, welcome to Linda's Creative Life. And I am so happy to uh, announce that I will be joining in on the hashtag Christmas Weekly with Jovi. And I will leave um, her link below and several other ladies are gonna be doing this. Now this is my December daily, but I think I'm gonna share it once a week on Monday. And so I invite you to join in. So I started a little bit. So I'm gonna share with you, this is day one. If you remember, this is the December daily that my friend um, Mimi by Mimi with Love created for me and I just love it so much. So this was day one and I, as I said before, I realized I'm not much of a just writing on a journal. So I've decided to use these prompts and I will leave uh, the link to uh, the channel that I got the prompts from. And it is um, journaling prompts from Sweet Bee Paper Company. And um, I just really liked them. So I printed them out and cut them up. And um, so day one, what's on your December bucket list? And mine is um, doing the Botanical Garden Winter Wonder Lights. Um, they did it um, last year for the first time here in Athens, Georgia. And it was so wonderful. I'm going to try to do it again this year. And this year I'm going to try to take my mom. They they um, start showing at 530. And it's also um, handicapped accessible. So we can take her in her wheelchair. And let her go and see everything. And then I just did a little journaling. I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, on the 1st of December, Mom and I went and got our COVID boosters. And um, yay for us. <laughs> so um, a day two. Um, let's see. I think I said, oh, I was sick from my COVID booster. <laughs> so I, I always get sick from it. And I think I spent the day in bed. So I took this little um, coffee thing and I made a little um, uh, journaling card out of it. And the prompt was, what is your favorite Christmas movie and why? And I really love Miracle on 34th Street. It's just old fashioned and sweet and I don't know, I just love it. And then of course, Snoopy Christmas. I love it. any kind of Snoopy Christmas um, shows. That was day two. And here's day three. Look how cute this is. So I don't know what I'll put in there. But um, day three is what are your favorite Christmas songs? And um, usually the first thing that pops in my mind is Mary Did You Know? But it has to be by Kathy Matea. I absolutely love her. She's just about my favorite female singer. And um, that Good News album that she does is just beautiful. And I listen to it every year at Christmas. So also on December 3rd, um, every year, my son-in-law, Blake, takes my granddaughter, Scout, and they and she gets to go buy a Christmas dress. And he takes her, you know, they make a day, you know, a day of it, an event, and she gets to pick some out. So he sent me some pictures, and these were um, three out of the five dresses she looked at. And guess what? This year, she got three. Apparently, they were on sale, and there was a coupon, and... She just couldn't decide, so Daddy said, yeah. And she's gotten so tall that all of her older dresses are, she hasn't, you know, gotten much heavier, but she has got some long legs. So she needed some dresses that kind of went down a little bit. But um, I just loved it, so I printed that picture out and put it on here. So that was day three. Day four, um... Who are you buying gifts for this year? Well, of course, it's Tiger and Scout, my grandkids. And yesterday, I didn't get to go over, but they decorated their Christmas tree. And uh, my son-in-law took some pictures, and I just, I just loved them. So here they are being goofy. I love it with their, with their silly faces and silly hats. I love those two so much. 
and the merriest of merriest season of all Christmas and there they are decorating the tree and um dad their dad their dad is holding scout up and she's she's putting um something up high and the they do that light on the top anyway it's just beautiful and it just makes me so happy so then we come to day five which is today and on this page i decided that um if i can make my glue work <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't want to work for me. So, um, anyway, um, this is, do you have a favorite Christmas ornament? And I have a lot of Christmas ornaments that I really love that bring back memories. But every year, for the last several years, I have one Christmas ornament. The glue's not going to come out, so I'll have to wait. I have one Christmas ornament that is absolutely my favorite. Where did it go? There it is. And it is this little elf holding a heart balloon and flying away. Um, if you have watched my channel for any length of time or any Christmas in the last several years, you know that my brother died on December 23rd, about five years ago. I guess this will be the sixth year coming up. And um, he was in Texas and I went and um, I helped him um, uh, peacefully leave this earth. And uh, he was very, very sick and hospice came in and I spent the last few days with him while he was in the hospital before he um, was taken to a nursing home with hospice when he was still alert and could talk a little bit. Um, we knew it was near the end and um, it was just such a hard time. My mom had stayed in Georgia. She was not able to travel and I was just there and it was, it was hard. But um, I went into the little gift shop in the hospital and I saw this ornament and it just was perfect. And the day my brother passed away, I had gone to see him first thing in the morning and just whispered in his ear, it's a beautiful day to fly away, brother. And he did. And so this ornament is especially important to me and special to me. And every year when I put it on my tree, um, I'm sad, but I'm joyous at the same time my brother was really sick and and um he is no longer and he is at peace now so i will be adding that and writing a little something on there um my glue is not working so i will have to come back <laughs> i have to go find my glue that will work but this is day five so thank you jovi so much this will be fun next week i will have i will join in again on monday and show you the the next week's worth of um of uh, pages and um i hope that you're enjoying um your december however you're celebrating whatever you celebrate and whether you do um, a little journal or just um, a lot of the ladies are once a week just, you know, writing memories, past memories, current memories, things that are happening daily. You know, it's really whatever you want to do for your December um, journaling. So thanks so much and I will see you soon. Bye now.